y'all, we're going to come out and execute out and have a day off. Have some time off. I really like the way you guys came out. And then we're also going to pick our captains. Okay? And, and, and this year, we're going to pick two captains. We're going to pick offense and defense. Okay? So we're going to give you guys the criteria of what it takes to be a captain. You guys read that. I want you to really, really think about your teammates when you read it. Who really got what it takes to be a captain, captain of the football team? Who you want to lead the football team? Under the last lights of training camp, the Bulls thought about leadership. A captain is someone who puts in the extra reps. And you've got to have talent. Someone who shows up early, even if it's for breakfast, because it's about setting an example on and off the field. Guys, they're going to be our captain. They're going to lead our football team. They're going to be most of our football team. But uh, ultimately, it's uh, going to take care of us. A captain needs to be committed to the program, to learning the systems and taking their experiences to teach others. We'll be our captain for the defense. I give you sense. You know, this is truly an honor. You know, definitely you know, something I. I, I've always kind of wanted, um, but it, it's, it's awesome that you guys have used me, you know, to, to be in this position. Uh, hold me to that standard every single day. Uh, hold me to being a captain every single day, and, and we'll get the same role. Captains, representing their school, their city, and each other. I think it's really, really special <laughs> to be voted among your peers to be the captain of the football team. What did it take to earn this uniform? Win the jersey, do your job. More than you thought you had. The sacrifices, the extra mile, the love of the game. You had to be different to become a bull. Why did you do it? For this moment, for this chance. This is our city. This is our time. What will it take to earn this uniform? Everything you have. We are Bay Made. Bay Made Inside USF Football is presented by Elder Ford of Tampa, home of the lifetime warranty. Bay Made Inside USF Football is presented by, by the Florida Lottery. The Florida Lottery, over 30 billion and counting to education. Just imagine. By Hooters. Hooters, get your game on. The original wing joint since 1983. By Tampa General Hospital. Tampa General Hospital. Live fiercely. By Tico People's Gas. Brought to you by the energy saving conservation programs of Tico People's Gas. And by UPS. Delivered by UPS, visit ups.com slash solvers to find out more. Effort. Blood in the water. Execution. And we want to swarm and punish. Turnovers.
At USF, defense isn't just the side of the ball you play on. It's a way of life. And at USF, the leader of the defensive way of life is defensive coordinator Raymond Woody. His coaching philosophy may sound simple, but its impact can be seen everywhere. Well, I just, you know, feel like being yourself, you know, being honest, you know, with the kids and, and also giving them tough love, but knowing that the kids understand that, you know, I want the best for them, you know, being that way and not, you know, wavering, you know, that's the key, you know, just, just being yourself and having a lot of passion for what you do. The front four of the Bulls defense is orchestrated by coach Eric Mathis. I, I think capturing the hearts of your players is, is, it's a saying that sometimes people use it and it's hollow, but I really believe that when you capture the hearts of your players, that means that they love you. And I think once those players understand that you love them, like truly love them, care about them, and have their best interests at heart, those kids will run through walls for you. Also joining the defensive staff this year is John Jancic, a 25-year collegiate coach who adds an SEC flair to the Bulls' defense, having held defensive coordinator positions at Georgia and Tennessee. University of South Florida is a gold mine. There's a ton of potential here. For me as a coach, I love football for seeing these players grow uh, when they come in as freshmen and as they leave as a, as a graduate of the University of South Florida. So those are the things that really motivate me and I find rewarding in the game of football. Don't sit back on your heels. You want to keep closing space with me. Rounding out the defensive staff is coach Alonzo Hampton in his second year with USF. Coming off an impressive showing against Cincinnati last week in which the Bulls defense forced four turnovers, they look poised and ready for conference play. My name is Irileo Derende. I'm the director of athletic performance here at University of South Florida. We run a, a ground-based training philosophy. We'll train hard, we'll push our guys to the max. Coach O works us and he works us till we feel like we can't give it anymore and that's what he wants us to do, you know. He wants us to be able to come into that fourth quarter and still be at our, at our, at our peak. When I first came in, I was 225. I'm now 250, also a lot faster. My um, overall physique has changed a little bit. Strength conditioning has been great with Coach O. He's got me in great shape. I can, I can run, taking on the big defensive ends. It's not, it's not as hard as it has been. Last year, um, I came in at 225, and at the end of last summer, I finished at 255. So I gained a, quite a bit of weight and worked on my quickness, getting off the ball. I wasn't recognizing plays. I didn't really grasp the defense. And I would say now, after, after having a year, I think I know how to play now. Focus in season is more of, of, of maintenance. Out of season, it, it, it's really the grind of, of, of building them up too so we can sustain. He want us to be strong. He gonna make us get out there. He gonna work work us out hard. We already been through worse, so the only thing we can keep doing is moving forward. And that's what all his training is doing, and you can see that in all our players with all the weight we're putting on. They're also in your ear every morning telling you to get right and because that's what we need to do. So we can be the, as fast as we can, to be as strong as we can, uh, to be as explosive and, and, and dynamic as we possibly can before we go into the season. Bay Made Inside USF Football is brought to you by USF Health, making life better. And it broke me in trouble. And again, deep downfield. Caught! Caught! And this one is a touchdown. The road is always an unsure place where discipline, leadership, and focus are the most important. And the Bulls were ready for their trip to Cincinnati, where there was an added ingredient of importance for this one. 
It was the American Athletic Conference opener for USF. Both teams had built three and one records and this game looked like a pivotal one on their schedules. And it was another opportunity for USF to shine on network television. The quintessential seesaw battle in the first half. After the Bulls went ahead three to nothing, the lead would change hands six times before the break, with both sides stubbornly refusing to let the other build a difference greater than four. The quick strike Gulf Coast offense was off and running to another record setting game, and it needed just four plays to produce the Bulls' first touchdown. Flowers shotgun has the ball, hands off Dearness, fighting through, getting dry tackles, he's in. Touchdown Dearness Johnson. Good tough run off the left side to give the lead back to the Bulls. While both teams looked for a knockout punch, it became apparent that the first defense that could figure out how to dig in and slow things down would win the game. The shootout first half continued as the Bulls watched, waited, and plotted, looking for their chance to make the difference. And it would come. In the meantime, South Florida continued to answer score for score on offense. The home team had dominated this series, but quarterback Quentin Flowers was working diligently to send the Cincinnati fans home unhappy. One thing all USF players know that Willie Taggart's coaching staff is going to give them the best in-game adjustments they can get. Football is about adaptation and perseverance, and it would win this game for USF. The defensive momentum started to change. USF ranked in the top 25 in the country in causing turnovers, and they were about to get their first in this one. McGee's interception preserved the four-point Bulls lead, but it would also be the first of four turnovers forced by the USF defense. The celebration was short-lived, however, because on their ensuing possession, the Bulls lost guard Billy Atterbury with a leg injury. And while it's never easy to watch a teammate be carted off the field, it only served to sharpen USF's resolve. The next man up mentality went into operation and it helps to have the most productive running back in school history aid the cause. Cincinnati had one more scoring drive in them and it gave the Bearcats the lead again, 20 to 17. But it would be their last lead, in fact, they would not score again. But South Florida did, and before halftime. Persistent and determined, the Bulls had weathered the storm and were ready to unleash a little fury of their own. This time when they grabbed the lead, they would keep it for good. Marlon Mack scored in the final two minutes to make it 24-20. Marlon Mack puts the Bulls back ahead with 1.40 to go in the half. What the Bulls did in the final minutes of the first half on both sides of the ball carried over into a dominant second half for South Florida. Three straight possessions, they forced Cincinnati turnovers, setting up great field position. Defense and offense never on the field together, but working as one to pull away from Cincinnati. On the way to their ninth straight game of scoring 35 or more points, while giving Marlon Mack a chance to move to the top of the USF record board. Third and eight, and the pass is picked off by the Bulls. Johnny Ward, and this is a pick six. Touchdown, USF. Cuts it back inside, makes a man miss. Touchdown. Gets into the open field. There you go, Marlon Mack, the all-time leading rusher in the history of USF football. He does it on a 49-yard touchdown, and the Bulls lead 44-20. to 20. So 
up, we'll always be. With all of mine, we fight the battle here and now, and we will win the victory. Woo, woo, woo. S O U C H F L O R I D A. They made Inside USF Football is presented by Elder Ford of Tampa. They made Inside USF Football is presented by, by the Florida Lottery. The Florida Lottery, over 30 billion and counting to education. Just imagine. By Hooters. Hooters, get your game on. The original wing joint since 1983 by Tampa General Hospital. Tampa General Hospital, live fiercely. USF Health, making life better. They made Inside USF Football is brought to you by the Tampa Bay Times. Get your news when you're on the go. Download the Tampa Bay Times app at tampabay.com slash apps. This is the American Conference on ESPN. From Nippert Stadium in the Queen City, Cincinnati, Ohio, the University of South Florida Bulls taking on the Cincinnati Bearcats. Um, it's very important to make a statement anytime you're out there. You know, uh, that, was, that was good for our guys after, after a loss to, to bounce back and, and, and not let that loss fade you and not let that, that loss that we had the week before uh, they could lose another one this week. I'm really impressed with the way I got practice this week and then how they came out today. That was huge for us. Marlon got the record on that 49 yard run. How That's pretty impressive. Was that? that was a pretty impressive run. You know, he had, he used the L1 button on that one. You know, <laughs> in PlayStation, you know, man, he did L1 button, made the guy miss and just took it to the house. That was really impressive. I, I love the fact how he did it, how he got the record, you know, but um, it's impressive. Really proud of um, Marlon, what he's done. and and how he can add on to that. You know, he's been special for us for, from day one and and he deserves everything he, he, he's getting and uh, love him to death, love what he's doing and really happy for him. Moving there he goes back. Who with this run has a chance to become the all-time leading rusher in school history and he's into the end zone. Touchdown. Like I, like I always say, we got guys that turn five yards into 60. You know, just like Marlon Mack. Uh, you know, he got a, a draw play and he Made somebody miss and he was gone with, with a blink of an eye. Man, it was a, a big hole. Me and a linebacker in there. I had to make a move on him. I did. I just used my speed for the rest of it. Thanks, Tyree, for the block down the field. Second down at five from the nine. Flowers pump fake running inside the five. He's into the end zone. Touchdown. And even though he threw that little fake in there, Ray, that looked like a design run for Flowers, a nine yard touchdown scamper. Uh, it was, you know, we were sharp, you know, I thought Quentin did a great job. I thought Quentin having a baby was one of the best things for us. You know, he was he was able to relax now and not have to worry about whether the baby's going to come or not. I thought that was really weighing on him heavily uh, the last couple of weeks. And when he came back after the baby was here, he was sharp in practice and he was sharp today for us. USF at the 19. Like quarterback running this. And that's exactly what they do in Flowers. We'll have the first down inside the 10, and here will waltz into the end zone. Touchdown, Bulls, 19-yard run. You know, ever since, you know, ever since my daughter came into my life, you know, I just felt that everything changed. You know, uh, I got a true football just like it's my daughter. You know, I got a lot of responsibilities. I got a lot of things that I have to do for this team, you know, to take after me. So uh, I just went out there every day, I mean, every play, and just played it like it was my last and just tried to make the correct reads every time. Uh, you're not going to be perfect, but at the end of the day, I did what was best for this team. Uh, definitely, man. It's, it's on our shoulders. Uh, the whole offense key, man, we go out there every day work and put score, put points on the board. That's our job. That's our goal. Just like we always tell each other, you know, it's time to clock in. And uh, that's why I came up with 9 to 5. It's, it's our job. You know, we go out there every day, and that's something we do, and that's something we love. So every game, every practice, we say we, we clocking in. That's our job, and that's what we do. Don't miss out on seeing USF in their historic 20th anniversary season. Saturday, October 8th, it's East Carolina. On Saturday, October 15th, UConn will be in Tampa. And on Friday, October 28th, a visit from the Naval Academy. Touchdown! 
WSF. Flowers and Brophy in trouble. And again, deep downfield. Caught! Caught! And this one is a touchdown.